Everybody loved Stuart Meltzer. He was a great guy. Handsome, and he was a bon vivant. He was a great guy. He was just the kind of a guy that everybody wanted to be friendly with. He was a nice guy. Yeah. He didn't have a mean bone in his body. He didn't know how to be mean. He's a good guy. Well, he didn't have to put on airs for anybody. Yeah. He never asked for anything in his life. If I bought him a new car, he said, what'd you do that for? <laughs> what do you mean like I wanted to do it? <laughs> well, you didn't have to do that. And people think that I have too much. I said, what are you talking about? If your father wants to buy your car because you're a good guy, does that mean I'm bad? He said, no, I'm there, but you don't understand me. My guys don't have that. He says, you shouldn't do that. I'll get it myself one day. That's the kind of guy Stewie was. He's a wonderful, wonderful son. And he was great to his children. Uh-huh. He'd take his boy, three-year-old, everywhere. He loved his boys. I knew something terrible would happen. My wife wouldn't have called me otherwise. And she, all she said was that a plane crashed into the building where our son worked, and he called his wife and says he wasn't going to make it out alive. And I knew how close he was to his mother, and he would have called her next, but he never made that call. I immediately got into a car with Joyce, and we drove directly to New York. Actually, the very first call I got was from Teddy Kennedy. Wow. He lived, as you know, not too far from where I lived. Uh-huh. And he called up, he says, this is Ted Kennedy. I didn't register at first. Why would he be calling me? Yeah. And he said to me, uh, Mr. Meltzer, my name is Ted Kennedy. I said, Senator Ted Kennedy? He said, yes. And I said, to what do I owe this call? I was not a great fan of Ted Kennedy's. After that call, I respected him. Uh Not a fan, I respected him. He said, because who better than I knows what pain you're going through? And, uh, you know, it was very polite and very not very dignified conversation. And uh, he wept. And he said, I can't believe what you're going through. And I said, I know. I told him that. Teddy, I'll never vote for you, but I'll always like you because I don't believe in what you stand for. But I believe you as a person, and I'll never forget what you did for me. And I never would. He did a lot for me. Yeah. Made me feel like a human being again because I felt his spirit was there. He really meant what he said. Well, that was wonderful. And then they recovered my son's remains Six months later, on my wife's and my anniversary and her birthday, when a parent loses a child, it's not the same as a husband losing a wife or a wife losing a husband. Right. Nobody replaces your child. Yeah. And that's what a parent lives with. When you bury a child, you bury part of you. I sold my house on the Cape within six months. And I bought a home in Long Island to be near my grandchildren. My son Stewie's two little boys. One's now 13, the other one is 10. They were uh, a year, they were three years and uh, six months old when this terrible thing happened. Right. My oldest son gave up his position down south and came back to New York and started his own company in New York which was unbelievable, and he, and he really came back to take over the male part of his nephew's lives. Yeah. He was very close to his, to his brother. Yeah. And he, uh, he did a wonderful job, coached all their ball games, all their teams for the last 10 years. When I see his son, who's a very fine athlete, his older boy, he's a handsome kid just like his father, when I see him, it brings a tear to my eye. Yeah. Because, you know, he should be seeing him, not me. My grandchildren are lovely. Uh-huh. I have a very nice relationship with them. That's very nice. I have no problems with that at all. And you've had, they've given you... My daughter-in-law, I stuff. would say in the 10 years that my son is gone, my relationship with my daughter-in-law is better now than it was when it first happened. Before they would make a settlement, I and my wife and every other person who didn't, only ones who got compensation were the wives and children of the victims or husbands and children of the victims 
or parents whose children were not married. So I and my wife had a sign saying we will not sue anybody so that my daughter-in-law can get compensation for her and her children. So the government used high pressure tactics. They got people whose husbands didn't have big life insurance policies and they scared them and naturally a wife would turn around and say to their in-laws, well you can't sue because if you do that my children will have no money and I won't let you see your kids if you do that. Bin Laden, I, you know. Yeah, what was that day like for you? I, you know, long overdue, but he was a sick old man that our so-called ally Pakistan probably yeah. knew he was there for the last five, six years. Do I feel a sense of relief he's gone? Yeah, I feel that uh, justice was served. He should have been killed, but long overdue. I mean, if they would have spoken up sooner, he could have been dead five years ago. You're going to go to Ground Zero on September 11th, is that? I will be there. I just oh, okay. I made a reservation. And you don't like what they've done with Ground Zero? Nah, it's too politicized. Really? And it's the, the names aren't going to be? No, they're like, not like in order, like A, B, C, D. They're all over the place. Uh -huh. you got to go on a website to find out where the name is. Isn't that stupid? I tried to make them understand that they should put them by either corporations or alphabetically. They said, no, we'll do it randomly because that's the way they died. And I just looked at them and said, who are you to tell us how to do this? It's our people, not yours. Yeah. Don't get involved. So I just gave up. You know, exactly my thoughts are that I wish it never happened. I'm sorry that our family is part of that terrible history. Um, I, I feel sad for all those lovely young boys and girls who were lost in this terrible wars. And when it's all over, I hope it would have been something. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I think not. Because I think both those countries will revert back to the same junk they were before. Mm -hmm. And that's sad. Because they're very brave men and women who went to fight. And I just hope the death ends. I don't want any more young men to die.